Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your cool, awesome, oops, sorry, lovely host, Gokusatsu. And uh, we're here to review a new figure. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been in a while. I've been busy. I've been, I've been working on, uh, I've been working on other stuff behind the scenes and uh, forgive me. But uh, yeah, we are here today to review Kaiser. This is the this is the this is the S Ace figures, Sinkoku Seho, Kamarada Kaiza, Ka Kamarada uh, Next Kaiza from the five twentieth uh, movie Paradise Regine. And yes, I watched the movie for myself. It was okay. I personally don't care for it. That's just me. But anyway, yeah, we're here to we're here to talk about Mr. Sandman himself. But before we do that, we got a word from our sponsor. So take it away, future me. Oh, hi, Konnichiwa, Mina san. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry to do Japanese here, but uh, I just want to say this uh, segment of today's video is sponsored by Hobbling Japan. Hey, you, you love Tokusatsu? You love anime? You love Transformers? You love Gunplus? Well, Hobbling Japan can. Help you and help you satisfy all the purchases. You can buy really anything off of there. You can buy a DX toy, a driver, a, a Boom Boonja mini pla, or a Transformer Studio Series figure, or a Gunpla Gundam kit, or like Ninjoy. Yes, they had yes, they had cute little Ninjoy as well. And uh, <laughs> if you're interested. I will put my affiliate link right here, and I'll also put it in the description as well. And uh, yeah, thank you Hobbling Japan for sponsoring this video. Now, well, back on to the actual video of me reviewing Kaiza, which is right there. <laughs> Alright, we are back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this video is pretty good. <laughs> so, you gotta notice that uh, this figure is uh the figure is, this figure is different from the past from the past other Senkoku Seho figures. And I say that in the nicest way possible. First off, well for those who know where I bought this from. Well, I bought this from Ninin Games. And uh Good price too. Yes, he's premium Bandai. His US, his US release just came out last month. But uh, if one, oh sorry. But uh, if you want to go buy him, you can use uh he's on Nin Nin. But I guarantee if you use like websites like uh Ami Ami or Mandarake, you'll find him on there too. So let's talk about uh let's talk about Kaiser right here. The good and the bad of the figure. First, I'll say that uh, I don't have Fies' this figure, so I can't compare him to Fies. Well, I have regular Fies, but not next Fies. But uh, I gotta say, this guy is uh, pretty good. This is how far his back go for here and to here to here. This is how far his legs go, and my copy pretty good. It's not loose or anything. No like paint smudges and that here how here how you for bending. This is pretty good. I will say the only like QC issue I have in my copy, it's just his it's just his phone would not stick on his belt. But granted, the uh, Sinkoku Seho Five is the exact same way, so I can't be like mad about that. <clears throat> but uh, that's the only thing. But besides that, yeah no yeah no guys, this guy's pretty good. Paint detail, articulation, posability, all good. And uh, oh man, oh man, I have so, I did so many pictures with this guy. By the way, tomorrow's Kaiser Day in Japan, so happy, happy belated, <laughs> happy soon to be Kaiser Day, everybody. Yes, we all remember the day, and in, in the year two thousand three, when uh, everyone's most favorite. And also the favorite secondary came into our life in, in Tokusatsu. Grant, I didn't watch Fight in the early 2000s. Nope, but still. Happy Kaiser Day, everybody. 
Ah oh, man, it's too good. Any pose I do with this guy look looks so good. This guy this guy is a contender this year for figure of the year. It's crazy though guy. I really haven't thought about about uh what to do for a figure of the year. But here we are now. But yeah, Mr. Kaiser here, he's pretty good. Oh by the way, uh just to say that if you have if you have the original Kaiser, I'll say that uh, I'll say that this guy is a good placeholder. If you don't have the original, okay, that's weird. I'll say that this guy is a pr good placeholder. If you don't have the original version of the 1.0 Kaiser, because this guy right now is a placeholder in my collection until Tomashi announced the Senko Kuseho version of the classic Kaiser suit. I love that suit so much. I hate Kaiser. I did not like Kaiser's character in Fies. No, but I do love his suit. So there's also that. And uh, well, this I like this suit too, even though I, you though it's not my favorite, but still I like it as well. But uh, yeah, uh, this is yeah, this figure pretty good. Good paint articulation. I mean, good paint apps. <laughs> Good articulation, good posability. The scope is pretty good as well. He looked just like the actual suit from the movie. And now we're on to his accessories. Yeah, he got a lot of accessories. So, Mr. Kaiser here actually has the ability. Mr. Kaiser here actually have a strop ability. You see this? You see these two? You can actually put. You can actually replace uh, this. His regular visor color, but this one for Axel. You, get, you just gotta do this, and be by the way, be very gentle, cause this this does come off pretty easily. You don't want to break it and uh, have that have that stuck in your figure, cause you spend around. I'm guessing, uh, guessing like a lot of money. I'm guessing like what what hundred dollars on this, cause this is a premium Bandai figure. Yeah, I mean, it's falling them out. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm here. Not gonna lie. The only thing I'm hearing right now is is uh, Kaiser steam, and I'm like, oh brother, great, yay! I love hearing Kaiser steam in the back of my head. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Calm down. And here we go, we have Kaiser's Axel form. Oh yeah, by the way, uh you have you have this phone too. By the way, which which goes to uh well, which goes to Axel form. But I'm just gonna keep the I'm just gonna keep the freaking uh regular phone on right here. And yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. If if you feel like it, you can make him you can make him go into his Axel form. Granted, I'm just gonna keep him in his regular in his regular uh state. Because well, why not? I gotta say, I think out all the Senkoku Sable, I I I can talk. Sorry. I think out all the Senkoku Seihos that uh I have, I think this is the best one. That, I think this is the best one that Tamashi made. Because my copy is pretty good. No, I do not have Gaim. I will get Gaim eventually one day, just not now. Good articulation, good posability, good paint app. It's uh, like you go. <laughs> it's almost like you could say this is the perfect package. <laughs> so on to uh, accessory, more accessories basically. Here we have his Tom Fuss. Yes, these are Tom Fuzz. He used these in the movie. At the end of the movie, by the way. Now, these are pretty cool. 
These are little guns too, by the way, if you uh, can tell right there. Here we have two fists. Great, I'm, I'm dropping stuff, wonderful. Here we have two fists. Here we have two like open uh, hand, or two, well grab, or oh, not grab, two uh, hold, weapon holding hands for his Tom Fuss. And uh, here we have two hands, two uh, button hands you can use to, you can use to make him press a button. Well, you can make it look like he's pressing a button on his belt to do like a cheat, a freaking exceed charge. And uh, yeah. He does come with a lot. Granted, Sinkoku Seiho don't come with a lot. Well, depends on which character it is. But, uh, Kaiser, but Kaiser doesn't come with a lot. That's crazy. Nah, not really crazy. It's just, huh, that's, huh, that's really fascinating. Alright, so now I'm, now I'm on to size comparison. And just because it's just because this is a FIES video. Here here with the five that came out well last year. Here here with Comrade Vulcan. Here here with Comrade Aguilera. Hello. She's not standing up. Let me uh let me fix that boy. Here we here he here he is about Gene. These two out of the way. Here he is with well buffer and legend. The last like figure review I did was basically on legend. You know, you guys love that video, and I gotta say thank you for that. The next gotcha review is gonna be on well Conrad Voderad next month. And the image aid. But I'm just ready. But I don't, I don't get my hands on those two till October next month. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm talking about the US release from the Jade. Not the Japanese release. The Japanese release come out this month. But uh, I bought the American release. So, I don't get I don't get her till October. And I bought the Japanese release of Voderad. I come like Voderad next month. So, I don't get him till October as well. So, yay for, so yay for me. Also, I still got good, I still gotta get freaking daybreak and, and I can't wait for dread. Okay, well I, well I bought dread already, but still. Kaiser Kaiser look pretty good against these two. Well I'm <laughs> sorry for that long tangent right there. And here he is with here he is with well, full power freezer. And yes, I'm gonna do my video on full power freezer. Because oh boy, I think a lot of people will think I think a lot of people want to see me do a video on Mr. Buff Freezer right here. Yeah, he cannot stand by the way, just to point that out. And here he is with the Lightning Collection uh remaster MMPR Green Ranger. Alright. So what did I think? Uh Overall, I'll say that uh, if you have Kai, if you like Kaiser and Fies in general, go get this figure. Look, Fies is uh nowhere near one of my favorites. It's not in my top ten, but I do love Fies's uh suits. 
And uh, that's the uh, and uh, that's the only thing I can say about Fives as a show, for me. And uh, if you love the Fives movies, you know if if you love the Fives next movie, then I'll say yeah, sure, go ahead and get the figure. But he is pre, he is a, he is expensive, and he's premium Bandai, so good luck with that too. But uh, he, but I know that I know that I know Ruba can talk. But I know that this figure didn't sell a lot in Japan. So go ahead guys and get him. If you see him if you uh see him by uh if you see Ami Ami if you see him on Ami Ami or Mandurake, then go ahead get him guys. Because this figure is this figure is pretty good. Mine is the gripe with his phone not staying up, not staying on. This figure is still, this figure is still good. Ah, see, he's not the one of the best figures, he's not the one of the best figures that came out this year. If I had to rate him. If I have to rate this figure, I'll say I'll give him, well, a nine. He could have been perfect. Again, there's like no smudges on my part. On my copy, which is good, but the only issue I have for my copy is that his belt did not, his phone did not want to stand his belt. That's about it. But yeah, that's all. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. So follow all my social media description. Yes, my Vimeo account, my Instagram account, including my Wix account that I show my, including my portfolios as well. And uh, yeah. Hey, anyway, ask me, what happened to your Twitter? I don't have a Twitter anymore. So, yay. But anyway, it's okay. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media description. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, check out my affiliate link in the description for Hobby Link Japan. Thank you, by the way, for sponsoring this video. And yeah, guys. My name's Aaron. And uh, enjoy the pictures. And uh, I'm out. And <laughs> great. And his phone popped out. Later, guys.